So you guys are seated. Feel free if you want. We'll start our movement on our back. So if you guys want to make your way to your back and find a reclined butterfly, we'll do some strengthening stuff today that we've been rolling into with spring and some hip stuff. So maybe start with reclined butterfly if that feels okay. Or just wherever your body kind of intuitively takes you once you get to the floor, if something feels better than something else. I'm just dropping into this space, this new time in the morning. Our community that's here. Just feeling the breath entering the body, maybe feeling the back on the floor, the feet, the shoulders. And just letting the breath nurture you from the inside out, that life on the inside out. This time of year, there's many celebrations happening, many observances happening. I think a wonderful sentiment for our practice today might be the mantra Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Maybe your next breath directing that to yourself. Loka Samasta Sukino. And then perhaps your next breath directing that sentiment, those powerful words to someone that might be in the midst of suffering and pain. Just bring that person to your heart space. In your next breath, Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. And feeling the breath nurturing your body, filling you with happiness and freedom. Think of someone who has maybe passed through the suffering and is on the other side. And we'll send those words to them and their loved ones. The next breath. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Our next breath. If you're not in your reclined butterfly already, find that reclined butterfly. Maybe breathe a breath into those hips. Breathing in towards the hips, the pelvis. Exhale, letting go. Another breath, maybe towards the tops of the thighs. The adductors, those kind of growing muscles, breathing in. Letting go. Then another breath in. And then exhale, let it go as you bring your feet to the floor. Your knees to the sky. 
Maybe you shimmy those shoulder blades, bring the low back to the ground. Yeah, so hug the right knee into the chest and the left leg to the sky. And just keep that left foot flex, bring the right knee into the chest. Maybe roll that right ankle. Maybe let that right knee drop out to the side. Maybe you hold the outer right side of the foot. The left leg is to the sky. The right knee kind of drops out. Maybe, like I said, you kind of have a half happy baby with the right hand on that right foot. And then bring that right leg to the sky. So both legs to the sky now. Mm -hmm. Now we'll exhale, bring that right ankle below that left knee. Bring the hands behind that left hamstring. Press the left leg into the hands. The legs pull on that left leg. So the left leg is kind of active. We're kind of open that right knee out towards the bottom of the mat. So kind of opening the hip. You can let go of the effort in the left leg and maybe just focus on opening this right hip here. So we're gonna recline pigeon. You can drop that left knee down if you want and hug the left shin. Maybe feeling a little more on the outer hip if you do that. Be here for about five breaths. Breathing into the pelvis, into the hips, the legs. Breathing in and out. And another breath in. And now let's exhale, send that left leg to the sky again. The left leg is long, let go of the hands from behind the left hamstring. Now drop the left leg down, keep that right foot where it is. Bring the right foot to the ground and then drop that right knee across the body. So left leg is long, that right knee is over towards the left side of the mat. So now we're in a little twist. Yeah, the right knee up to the side, left leg long. Arms out like a T maybe. And just let the weight of the right leg Kind of pull on that back, that low back in the spine. If you want, you can extend that right leg long rather than having it bent. Just settling into our twist here for a couple more breaths. Breathing and letting the breath go exactly where it needs to be. Breathe in. And now exhale, bend that knee if it was straight, that leg was straight. Bring yourself to the back. The right knee into the chest. Now bring the left knee into the chest. And now let's find a happy baby grabbing the outsides of the foot or maybe the big toes and maybe rocking side to side. Sometimes what I like to do is send one leg long and then bend it in and send the other leg long. As if I were like riding a bike, I guess maybe. But sometimes that feels nice and happy baby. I'm just finding a more traditional happy baby. Just give yourself what you need. And now let's exhale, release our hands, bring both legs long to the sky. You can flex and point the toes. And then we'll drop that right knee, that right leg down. Bring the left ankle below that right knee and then hug the knees into the chest. Again, we'll find that reclined pigeon. The right leg can be nice and long if you want it long, uh-huh, or it can be bent. Just feeling your way into the shape, not deciding with your mind where you want that leg to be, but letting the body direct us and inform us where we can feel movement and feel shape. Maybe closing the eyes, again, nurturing from the inside out. And so in that connection, the people we thought of earlier, as well as each other here today, Loka Samasta, Sukino Balantu. Another breath. We can exhale, send that right leg long, but that left leg come across the body, coming into our twist on the other side. That left knee this time over to the right side, kind of letting the weight of the leg, opening the back, opening the side body. Ah. Breathe in and out. Maybe explore reaching that left hand overhead, kind of feeling a side body stretch as we offer this twist. Now one more breath. And then exhale, bring your knee back to the middle. Bring the left foot to the ground, bring the right foot to the ground this time. Get that low back flat on the floor. We're gonna come into our bridge. We're kind of warming up 
the glutes here and the hamstrings a little bit as we work into our hips today. Press the feet into the floor. Exhale, drive those hips to the sky. Let's pause at the top. Show me those shoulder blades a little or a lot. Be here for three and two and one. And now lower. And then exhale, drive those glutes, those hips to the sky, pausing at the top. Mm -hmm. Good. Breathing in and out. And now lower down to the floor. Let's walk those heels away from the glutes. Maybe a step, maybe a little less. Wiggle the toes, press the feet into the floor. Exhale, drive those hips up. Maybe notice the sensation in a different part of those hamstrings this time. Shimmy the shoulders, lifting those hips high. Let's be here for five breaths. Breathing in and out. Another breath in. Just waking up the back body. Almost there for two. One, and then exhale, let's lower down. From here, maybe finding a happy baby or hugging knees into the chest for Apanasana. We're kind of stretching out along the entire glutes now. Really nice, guys, yep. And then rock on that low back. Send those legs long in your happy baby. And whenever you're ready, draw those knees in. Let's roll to one side and let's meet in our plank. You can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> We're going to meet in plank. However you get there, if you stretch out those legs first, that's fine. I'm going to wake up the front of the body now. So getting those hands in just the right spot, reaching through the heels towards the back of your mat. Maybe wiggling the hips side to side before you find some stillness, the heart beating towards the floor. Entering into the sacred space. Connecting to the breath. This breath that connects us all and gives us life. When you're ready on an exhale, let's press back. Adhamukhasanasana, downward facing dog. You can wiggle out the knees. Maybe you want to kind of sway the hips side to side in your downward facing dog. Maybe you want to Straighten and then straighten the legs. I'm taking my socks off. So whatever you guys need to do. Adho Mukhasanasana. Breathing in and breathing out. And in and out. And now let's step those feet into our, if I had my feet wide. So if you had your feet wider or closer, you come into your Kind of normal downward facing dog for you. Let's inhale, rock it up to plank pose. And from our plank, let's draw that right knee into that right elbow. Mm -hmm. And then we'll send it right back to plank palakasana. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, step it back, palakasana, breathe in. Exhale back, adho mukha Nice. Breathe in. And out. Now let's inhale, step that right foot forward, drop the left knee down, the left hand plants, bring the right arm to sky, opening up towards the right and our low lunge. Nice, guys, breathe in. Exhale, drop the right hand on the inside of the foot, curl the left toes under, let's lift up. So the left knee lifts, drop the right knee out, coming into just a little lizard here. Not a full lizard, just dropping that knee out to the side, feeling that that inner hip, breathe in. Now exhale, plant the foot. Bring the right hand on the outside of the foot. Let's step the left foot forward, Uttanasana. Let's fold it here. Let the head be heavy and hang. And we bend the knees a lot and then straighten them again. And then we can bend the knees a lot and straighten the knees again, breathe in. Now exhale, step the right foot back, lower that right knee down. And then right hand plants, left arm up to sky, twist it over, low lunge to the other side. Really nice, breathe in. Maybe beginning to find a rhythm to the breath, okay? Breathing in and out. The breath keeping us present. Breathe in. Exhale, bring that left hand on the inside of the foot. You can bring the left foot to the side, drop the knee out. This is our baby lizard. 
Breathe in and out. Uh huh. Breathe in and out. Another breath in. Now exhale, bring the left hand on the outside of that left foot, curl the right toes under, lifting that right leg up, be pressing through the ball of that foot, the heel of that foot. Now step the right foot forward, bring the feet nice and wide on the mat. The left hand underneath the heart, maybe on a block or the floor, bend the knees, reach the right arm to the sky. Here's our twist. See if you wanna bend that left knee a lot and open up into the right side body. Dropping that left hand down, the left shoulder, right on the sky, breathe in. Good, exhale, bring that right hand down, bend that right leg a lot and lift the left hand to the sky. Breathing in and out. Where's your breath? Be with the breath. And then exhale, bring that left hand back down. Let's point the toes out towards the corners of the mat. If it feels okay, drop the hips all the way down in the last minute. You might not be quite ready for that this morning. So just let the, the, the six bones kind of hover wherever it feels right, working our way into our garland pose. If you've got it, your hips are open, you can come into Malasana. We'll be here for 10 breaths. Maybe closing the eyes. Maybe connecting to our mantra. Loka, Samasa, Sukhino, Bhavantu. Loka, Samasa, Sukhino, Bhavantu. Feeling your breath in your body, feeling your body on your mat. Three more breath. Now we'll exhale and be planting the hands. You can come into your crow pose or sitting those six bones to the sky and coming into a forward fold. So wherever you find yourself will be the five breaths. Uttanasana or your bhakasana, whichever is right for you. Being there with all of your breath and all of your awareness. Two more breaths. Now exhale, if you're in crow, maybe coming down into a forward fold, and we'll all rise up together, meeting in our mountain pose, the front of the mat. When we get there, you can sway those hips, you can open up the hand to the side, finding some side bends before we meet in prayer at our heart speaks. Let's ground our feet. Maybe wiggle those toes, lifting the toes off the ground. Exhale, rock into the balls of the feet, maybe the heels lift, and then we'll rock back into the heels, maybe the toes lift a little more. And really plant those feet. And we'll inhale, reach up to sky. Exhale, sit back, Uttu Katasana, chair pose, moving through our Surya Namaskara B. So chair. And then exhale, folding, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. So inhale, step it back, plank pose, power of the cups. Mm -hmm. Good. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga dandasana. Mm -hmm. Inhale, urdhva mukhasvanasana. Exhale, adho mukhasvanasana. Mm -hmm. Inhale, step the right foot forward, put that left heel down, rise up, virabhadrasana one. Our Surya Namaskara B has our there, Vajrasana one, our chair, and a lot of our, our chaturangas. So now we'll exhale, frame the foot, and then set the right foot back, Palakasana. Mm -hmm. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shanasana. Good, exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, left foot comes forward, right foot comes down. Rise up, Vira Vajrasana one. Nice breath in, good guys. Exhale, fold it forward, frame the foot, step it back. Palakasana, inhale. Mm -hmm. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Mm -hmm. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Five breaths here on our last downward facing dog of this Surya Namaskara. 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale, feel the life filling your being. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, breathe it in. And exhale, let it go. One more breath. Now let's look between the hands and step the hands forward. Folding forward into our Uttanasana. Uh-huh. Yep. And then we'll rise up, sitting down in our chair. Inhale and exhale to sink those six bones. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands come down. Tadasana. Breathing in and out. Inhale, sweep the hands to the sky. Exhale, fold it forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, step it back, Palakasana, Surya Namaskara A. Mm -hmm. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukhasanasana. Exhale, back, Adho Mukhasanasana. Yes, five breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. And then inhale, step the right foot forward, the left foot follows, Uttanasana. Bend the knees, rise up, Tadasana, exhale. Take a breath. Nice, inhale. Exhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, step it back to our plank pose. In our plank, Let's feel the hands. Notice where they are in space. And now lower down the knees, but let them hover. Don't touch those knees to the ground. Lower, let them hover. Two, one. Now stretch them back out. Those legs long for plank. Breathe in. Let's exhale to draw that right knee to the right elbow. And then the right knee goes over to the left elbow. Uh huh. Now let's send the right leg back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Echo Pada Adho Mukha Svanasana. Three legged dog, guys. One leg to the sky, maybe maybe rotate that ankle around. Now inhale, draw that right leg through, step the right foot down, lower the left knee down. Let's rise up into a low lunge. Anjanayasana. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. And on an exhale, let's twist over towards the right, towards that big leg. Uh huh. Nice. Inhale. Exhale that right hand towards the left thigh, the left arm to sky. Breathe in. Now exhale, bring the arms back, shortage to shortage. Yes, shine the hard forward as we bring our arms out like a T. Let's exhale, sweep the hands on top of the thigh. Now grounding that foot, let's draw that left heel towards the glute. Maybe if you want, you can bring the left hand to find the foot and press the foot into the hand. You might feel a little more in that front to the left leg if you do that. Or you can just let that heel be there and just actively hold it there with hands on the thigh. So it's entirely up to you. But draw the foot up if you can. One more breath. And now exhale with control, lower that left foot down. Fold it forward to frame the front foot. Step the right foot back. Here we are, plank pose, palakasana. Mm -hmm. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, up. Facing dog. Exhale. Autumn with the Shanasana. Down with facing dog. Really stretch out the back this time as you press the hands down. Draw the heels to the floor. The heart to the thighs. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Hovering forward back into plank pose. We're moving on an inhale into plank every time. Inhale to plank. Exhale. Left knee to left elbow. Oh. Left knee to right elbow. And now bring the left leg back to the left elbow and then draw the left leg to sky. Equipada Adho Mukha Svanasana. Three legged downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale, draw the foot through, dropping it between the hands. Lower the right knee down. Low lunge, lifting the heart. Pressing the top of that right foot to the ground, maybe. And then be with our breath. We're going to exhale. You can inhale, bring the arms to sky. We're gonna move on an exhale to the twist to the left. So do it on an exhale. 
Breathe in and out. And then we'll exhale, shine our heart forward. Let's bring those hands to the top of the thigh. Breathe in. Exhale, draw that right heel towards the right glute. Maybe you find that foot with your hand and kick the hand into the foot. Or you can just hold the foot there without hands. Look, mom, no hands. Breathe in and out. And in and out. We'll exhale to lower with control, top of the foot to the floor. If you want, you can sweep your hands to sky, but then frame your foot on an exhale, curl the toes under. Let's step it back to plank pose. Inhale to plank. We're finding length, plank pose, breathe in. Breathe out. Let's exhale, lower down. We're gonna hold in Chaturanga Dandasana for three and two. Keep those shoulders up. One, let's inhale to Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Maybe lengthening through the legs. We'll be here for three breaths, lifting the tops of the feet off the floor and really stretching those feet back, dropping the hips down. Mm -hmm. And we'll exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. If you want, you can drop down the puppy pose, or you can stay here in the downward facing dog. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's inhale, rock it forward to plank. Plank on an inhale, breathe in. Uh huh. Exhale, lower the knees to a hover, hovering those knees. We're lifting out of the shore. Arms are nice and strong. The shoulders aren't rounded forward, but our back is, is up. Exhale. One more breath. Exhale, straighten the leg, lifting back into our plank. Oh, let the breath go. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Now draw the left heel down. Let's rise up to our deer, but draw some in one. We're making a nice, strong leg as we bend into our deer, but draw some in one. That left heel towards the ground, left. Pinky of side of the foot grounding, breathe in. Mm -hmm. Exhale, inhale. Now let's exhale, bring those hands behind the back. Pull those knuckles towards that left heel. And maybe we find a slight back and as we drop the head back. Inhale and exhale. And now let's forward fold, kind of humbly bowing on the inside of that right leg, reaching those hands to sky. Variation of our humble warrior. Nama Bada Hasavir Vajrasana. Be here for one, and two, and then three. We'll exhale to draw the chest up, keep the heart shutting forward, those hands pull back. Let's release those hands, finding that freedom. And then the arms come to sky. Let's exhale, straighten that front leg. So maybe here you may want to heel toe that left foot a little more forward. We're going to bow over that straight leg into our pyramid pose. So slowly moving with control to bow over that right leg, parsutanasana. Kind of pulling that right heel energetically towards the left heel and that left foot grounds. Be here for three and two. Inhale. Exhale, let's bend that front leg, dropping into Virabhadrasana one and rising up. Inhale and exhale. Good. Stay nice and tall into your Virabhadrasana one. Inhale. Let's exhale, frame the foot. Step it back, plank pose, Palakasana. Yes. Inhale. Exhale. And then let's roll over to the other side of the right foot, plant that right hand, sweep the left hand to the sky, Vashi Sahasana. Any variation with that left foot? Maybe you want to kickstand it, maybe you want to lower the right knee. Let's be here for three breaths, guys. We got this. We're all in this together. And then exhale down to plank. In your plank pose, let's find a nice exhale. And then in your exhale, lower down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, or the Mukhasvanasana. And then exhale, Adho Mukhasvanasana. If you want, in fact, let's lower down onto our forearms and find our 
are uh, uh, pinch my ras, our dolphin pose, our half peacock. Maybe feeling those fingers gripping the floor, maybe heels reach to the ground. Arda pincha mayarasa. Breathe in. Exhale. Let's inhale, bring it up to downward facing dog. Exhale, we sink those hips back up to the sky. Mm -hmm. Good. Inhale. Exhale, step that left foot forward, maybe between the hands or towards the front of the mat. Bring that right heel to the ground. Plant the foot, let's rise up here, but draw some alignment. Feeling as if you're pulling that mat apart with the left foot reaching forward energetically, that right foot reaching back. Let's bring our arms up, sink into the bend. Maybe feeling that opening in the front of the right hip. We'll exhale to bring the hands behind the back, and the opposite thumb on top of last time. Reach those hands towards the heel. Feel nice and open across the chest before we exhale to bow in our humble warrior. Hands reaching for sky. Breathe in and out. Mm -hmm. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And you're closing the eyes. Connecting with our mantra, connecting with the breath. Exhale to lift the hands to the sky and draw the chest up. Release those hands, find that freedom as we let go. Any variation with the hands as we straighten that front leg, maybe you draw that right foot a little closer and then straighten that leg. Situate those shoulders will reach up to sky. When you're ready, exhale, folding over that straight leg, Parasotanasana. See if you can surrender here. Me noticing where you feel this in the body. Let me be reminded that we are in this shape together. And we're not alone. One more breath. Good. Slightly bend that knee on exhale. We'll rise up to center. We grip at the top. We wiggle out the feet. Yes, now bend that knee. We'll exhale, fold it forward, frame the foot. Inhale, step it back, plank pose. Plant the hands. Now, when you're ready, if you want to come into your side plank on the left, Roll over to the left side of the foot, ground that hand, weight in the back of the shoulder, right on the sky or over the head. Any support with the legs. Vashistahasana. Inhale and exhale here, guys. The breath. And exhale, drop that right hand to the floor, coming out of the balls. The feet inhale. Exhale to lower those knees to a hover. Pausing here, let's draw the low belly in. And that pelvic bowl, that space between the hips, feeling them nice and strong. Breathe in. Exhale back on Ushtanasana just for a breath. And on an exhale, drop the knees down and come into your child's pose, or maybe walk the hands forward to puppy pose. And we'll be here five breaths. Really nice, guys. Yeah, hands in prayer behind the head. If you give yourself a foot massage if you're in child pose. Loka, Samasta, Supino, Bhavanti. Loka, Samasta, Supino, Bhavanti. Our yoga practice, it adds to that collective consciousness we cultivate peace within ourselves, connecting to the peace that's being cultivated all over the world. We're all part of the greater whole. 
Let's exhale. If you're in child pose, lift your hands forward to come into puppy. Yeah, and then from puppy, let's lower down the forearms and then curl the toes under. Let's meet in our dolphin pose. Ardha Pincha Mayurasana. So the six bones lift, heels maybe by the floor, maybe not on the balls of the feet, forearms down. You can bring those arms as wide as you need, feeling yourself nice and stable. Now let's rock it forward. Inhale, then we bring that nose to the ground between the thumbs. You can hover for three, two, one, and then back to dolphin pose. This one was just sky. Mm -hmm. Let's inhale, rock it forward. The nose maybe between the thumbs to the ground. Maybe it just hovers over the floor for three and two and one. Now let's exhale, lower down the knees. And then come right into kind of a tabletop with the hands underneath the shoulders. Now bring those knees maybe hip distance apart. Uh huh. <clears throat> and then once you get that nice tabletop, let's send that right toe to sky. Then maybe you lift the chest. So toe to sky. Uh huh. Let's exhale, bring the chin and the knees maybe towards one another. And then inhale, point the toe to sky, lifting the heart. Exhale, knee to nose, knee to chin. Now we'll inhale, lift that right toe to sky, lifting the chest. Maybe this time we lift the left hand forward. And then exhale, lower down the hand, lower down the knee. And maybe sway those hips side to side, to the right and to the left. And then find your neutral tabletop. When you're ready, inhale, point that toe to sky with the chest, inhale. Uh-huh, good, exhale, chin to, to knee. Toe to sky, look in the heart. Exhale, chin to knee. Inhale, toe to sky, look in the head. And now exhale, let's pause, chin and knee, rounding. Again, those muscles between the hips, between the pelvis, breathing in and out. And now let's lower that knee, sway the hips side to side. <clears throat> and now bring those hips to neutral. It'll inhale, lift the left arm up, reaching forward with the left hand. Uh huh. And now point the left toes to sky, dropping the belly. Now maybe we send the left hand back and find the right foot, kick the right foot into the hand, our half bow pose. And if that isn't quite accessible, you can bring a strap around that foot or have an active half bow with the arm reaching towards the leg. It's a lot of work for that right leg to keep it high without the hand. Be here. And now exhale, bring the hand down, bring the knee down, and then your choice, bring the knees wide on the mat, the child's pose. Or maybe you want to stretch the back of that right leg out in a downward facing dog. So wherever you want, to absorb that last movement, child's pose or downward facing dog. Take yourself there. We are all in this together. Another breath. Now exhale, rock it forward, coming to tabletop. Plant the hands, plant the knees. Inhale, bring the right arm forward, reaching with the fingertips. Get yourself nice and sturdy up with those knees as we point the left toes to sky. When you're ready, you can either sweep the right hand back, catch that foot, and press, kick that foot into the hand, or reach the right arm forward or towards the foot and lift the toes to the sky. Either way, try to keep the hips square to the floor, guys. Breathe in and out. And now let's exhale, plant the hand, plant the knee. From here, sway the hips side to side. And then we'll inhale to step the feet between the hands and forward fold and then exhale, opening up those backs of the legs, letting the head hang and be open and heavy. Swaying side to side, maybe. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. On an exhale, point those toes towards the corner of the mat, towards the edges of the mat. Drop down into Malasana. Garland pose. Yes, nice, guys. Let's inhale. Exhale. And you lift lifting the heart and the chest, lifting the eyes, lifting our spirits. And our next exhale, bring that left hand towards the floor, right arm up towards the sky, and gentle twist. Mm -hmm. Good. You can gaze up towards our right thumb or towards the left hand, letting how the neck feels inform you as to where you take your gaze. Now exhale, bring the hands in front of the heart. We'll bring that right hand to the ground, left arm to the sky. Here we are, our twisted molossum. Breathe in and out. And then exhale, let's bring the hands in front of the heart. See if you can find some steadiness here, guys. Exhale. Inhale. And now exhale up to you. You can either plant the hands and come into your crow pose. Maybe you walk the hands behind you and come into reverse tabletop or come into forward fold. So whether you want to reverse your tabletop, fly your crow or forward fold, find the breath that works for you, the movement that works for your intention today. Maybe three and two and one. Let's lower everything down, come into a seated position. And let's come to our backs. And when you get to your back, maybe just find a shape that works for you. And then on an exhale, let's extend our legs to the sky nice and long as if we were going to plant a footprint on the ceiling. Let the breath go. Imagine the breath dropping like raindrops into the soles of the feet and flowing down the legs, the back, and out the hands. Exhale. Now let's hug the knees in, draw the right knee in, send the left leg long, let the left foot fall out to the side, and let the right knee with the right hand underneath it drop out to the right side. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. And then exhale, bring that right knee across the body. We're going to find our twist that we did at class. Right knee across the left side. Let the right arm come out like a T. And then maybe you bring the right arm up in line with the shoulder, reaching towards the narrow edge of the mat. And now exhale, bring the right knee back to the middle. Send the right leg long. And then draw the left knee in. Let the right foot kind of fall wherever it falls. And drop the left knee out to the side. The left hand supporting it. We reach through that right foot as you drop the left knee out to the side. Inhale. Now let's exhale, bring that knee across the middle and let it fall to the earth on the right side. And then any variation with that left arm. Let's exhale, bring the knees together towards the chest, 
them back to the ground. Mm -hmm. Good. Now let's lower down the feet to the ground, getting set up for our bridge. Have a block handy. So find that block before we go any further. Make sure you've got it accessible. Uh huh. So get those feet positioned exactly where you want them. And now with that block, let's put it underneath our left foot. Okay, so the blocks underneath the left foot. Now let's exhale, drive the glutes to the sky, the hips come to the sky. And then bring that right knee into the chest and send the right leg long. So our left foot is on the block, the right leg is long towards the sky. Mm -hmm. And now let's lower down the hips to the floor, keep the leg long and just and then move that leg, those hips down and up. The left foot pressing on the block, the right leg is long. Slowing down and up. And down and up. And down, stay at the bottom. Bring that left foot off the block and then send the left leg long to meet the right. Both legs are point, are long towards the sky. Maybe you put your hand on the outside of the thigh, let the feet fall apart, relaxing the legs. Really good. Now bring the feet back to meet in the middle. Bend the knees, move that block so you can bring it underneath your right foot. Now plant the right foot on the block, the left foot on the ground, get that low back situated. And now press into the block with the right foot. Draw the left knee into the chest and send the left leg to sky nice and long. Uh-huh. And then exhale, lower down that low back. And then exhale, drive it up. And then exhale, lower it down. Uh-huh. Exhale, drive it up. Inhale, lower. And we'll drive up on an exhale. And then lower again. And drive up one last time. And we'll lower everything down. Draw the knees into the chest. Keep that block handy. You bring it out to the side. Maybe finding happy baby or apanasana. Maybe closing your eyes. Breathe in and out. Now let's exhale to bring those feet to the ground. Let the legs come long. Let the body be flat. And then when you're ready, bring those hands under the glutes. We're going to come into our fish pose. So pressing those elbows and forearms down. Feel the heart lift. The back of the head slides across the floor. And then that crown of the head comes to the ground. As we look back, the chest lifts. We're on the crown of the head. And relax into fish. And now exhale, slide. That crown of the, or the back of the head across the floor, lowering down onto the back. When you get down, maybe you remove those hands. Hug the knees into the chest. Lift the nose towards the knees this time, chin to the chest. And then an option here to bring those legs long again, lowering the low back down. You can come into our fish again, or if you want, come into reclined butterfly. If you're going into fish, we'll bring our hands underneath those glutes, press those elbows and forearms down, feel the chest lift, and then slide that crown of the head across the floor, or the back of the head across the floor, the crown of the head down. Now we're not resting all of our weight on the head, guys. It's in with the elbows and forearms. Your sits bones might feel them in your hands. Breathe in. And then exhale to slide 
the back of the head down with control. And exhale, move the hands out of the way, plant the feet. And then let's come into reclined butterfly, or if you want, find that block, come into a supported bridge. Let's soften all around all those joints. Soften the gaze. And let's bring our awareness to our heart space. With our awareness and our heart space. Let's visualize ourselves in the shape that we're in, in the sacred space. And say to ourselves, Loka, Samasta, Supino, Bhavantu. Loka, Samasta, Supino, Bhavantu. And then visualizing someone that might be in the midst of a hard time or heartbreak or suffering. See their face. Feel their heart space. And to that person, say, Loka, Samasta, Supino, Bhavantu. Loka, Samasta, Sukhino, Bhavantu. Now visualizing someone who has come through a hard time. They're on the other side of what was dark or scary or unknown. Visualize them and hold them in your heart space as well as their loved ones that held their hands and their emotions throughout their hard time. And say to those people, Loka, Samasta, Sukimo, Bhavantu. Loka, Samasta, Sukimo, Bhavantu. Whenever you're ready, you can transition to Shavasana. Holding that space for all of these souls, all of these people, for one another and for yourself.
dropping in to happiness and freedom. To that collective consciousness. Dropping into your own Christ consciousness. Feeling your connection to the greater whole. Perhaps to everyone else in the world that's in Shavasana right now. Knowing that we are connected. We're just going to chant our mantra. You can rest in Shavasana as long as you'd like. We'll close with our Om Shanti, but I won't direct you to sit. You can stay in Shavasana. You can sit if you'd like, whenever you'd like. Just give yourself this time to rest. Knowing that I have my eye on the time. And I'm here for all of you. Loka samastara sukino bhavantu. Loka samastara sukino bhavantu. Loka samasta 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 sukino bhavantu. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Mm-hmm. <laughs>